Hello everyone, it's Lydia and I have a project shared today. So this is a video response for Jen. She's hosting a fairy fun challenge. She is Oak Tree Vibrations here on YouTube. I will add a link down below. So you can follow the link if you'd like to play along. You can, um, you have to alter, I think she said anything. It has, you have to use a fairy, stickles and glitter, two natural elements like moss, twigs, some dried flowers. You can use real flowers if you want. The color green somewhere on your project. One lace, at least one lace, and your project is due June 22nd. So, really fun challenge. I altered some clothes pins and a glassine envelope because I'm going to be mailing my project to her. So I wanted to send, mail it in something pretty. So I used these clothes pins that I purchased at Walmart. I used one of these pretty flowers that I received from Stacy, the Five Blessings. Thank you, Stacy. I used some trims from J. Sellers store, lavish laces. I used this one. I call it the banner lace because it looks like a banner. So beautiful. And I also used from lavish laces this gathered one. These are beautiful. Um, for my glassine envelope, get this back in there, I use this stamp, this is Fairy Rhymes, I use this image here, love her, she's so pretty, and for the papers I used Prima's Fairy Rhymes, so I use this one, the advertisement, this one with the butterflies, I love this print, it's my favorite, and polka dots, I love polka dots. And for, for the tag, I used this die. This is Sizzix Labels Majestic Number no. 2. So let me show you my clothes pins. So they look like this. I placed them on this tag here. This is the first one. Here's the back of the pin. I added this pretty pink flower that I received from my sister, Mad Stamper 64. Tiny little Martha Stewart butterfly punch out. And then here's some moss. Some Spanish moss from my tree. I live in Florida. We have a, a lot of Spanish moss. So I just plucked that off my tree. So that's the first one. And then the second one, you have to use a fairy image somewhere on your project. So here's the advertisement paper on the back. And then here I added this pretty little bow <clears throat> using um, some lace that I received from Stacy, the five blessings. And I added a teeny tiny heart-shaped pearl up there. I don't know if you can see it. And I received that from Tammy, SS Crafter 1. And then I have this tiny little clip. I think this might be Tim Holtz, but I'm not sure. And I clipped on my image. Let's see if I can get it off. So the image is removable. And I added some stickles around the print. Let's see if I can get it back in here. I got it back in before. There we go. Isn't that cute? You straighten it out. And then the third one, here's the back with the butterfly print. I added a flower from my stash, some stickles. Here's a twig from my backyard and there's some moss growing on the twig. Some burlap, a Martha Stewart butterfly punch out, some bling, and I used some stickles. And then I added a charm on this one. I have this cute little fairy charm and a little Tim Holtz bauble. And then I wanted to attach them onto something, so I cut out this the die cut piece and I added this pretty paper with the butterflies and then the polka dot prints on the back. So I will be mailing these to Jen. And I wanted to put them in a little pretty bag where I can add some small goodies for her. So let me show you the bag. So it's a glass theme bag that I received in a rack. It had some goodies in it and it was bare so I dressed it up. I started off with a large doily and I stamped my Im image directly on the doily and then on the corner here I added some more Spanish moss from my garden. A twig. I have this beautiful button that I received from Marcia. Fletch Gold M. Some flowers from my stash. This one is a clay one and then I added this one that I received from Stacy with the canvas topping on there. I love that. And then on the top here, I just folded it over and I added the banner lace trim from Lavish Laces. So 
some of her gather trim and then I added some beads and another flower for my stash and a button and I finished it off with some twine and this is where I will add my pins and add a couple more goodies in there and off they go to Jen. So that is my project share for today, ladies. Sorry for the crinkling. Thanks for watching, everyone. Head on over to Jen's Fun Challenge and have a fabulous day. Bye.